Hi, welcome to the demonstration of the 32Soft Consignment Returns Loader. This Excel tool has been designed to automate the complicated process of consigned inventory credit returns as well as consigned inventory scraps. Using the reported consigned inventory data, the program safely generates multiple entries in corresponding QED screens, pending invoice maintenance 731, sales order maintenance 711, shipper pre-shipper workbench 792, shipper confirmed 795, and unplanned issue 3.7 for scrap material. Consignment returns Excel loader provides great efficiency, visibility, and control while eliminating inconsistencies, inaccuracy, or errors. The tool has two tabs. One used to process returns to consign inventory or credits, and one tab used to process consign inventory scrap. Let's take a look at how the credits are processed, returning inventory back to consign inventory and giving credit to the customer for what was reported initially as used but was not really used. We need to enter the customer to process the credits for, and optionally, a day range for the invoices as well as an item range. We can also enter optionally an invoices list and an items list in the detail lines. Then click the download button. As soon as we select any of the action buttons for the first time, a login screen appears which uses QED authentication logic to validate your user ID. Let's log in. The data is downloaded and we can see the details for the consigned items used on these invoices, including the price and discount, if any, from the invoice, which will be used to be cre to, for the credit to the customer. By default, the credit sales order to be generated is called CM plus latest invoice number, same as the pure number for the credit sales order and debit sales order remarks, and this can be manually changed if needed. The pure number for the debit sales order is same as the pure number of the most recent invoice downloaded. The location used to process the credits is comb clean. It can also be changed manually if needed. In order to process the credits, we just have to enter the quantity to return to stock. And click the upload button. The information will be sent to QED. A pop-up screen is displayed showing the status of the upload and it will indicate if upload is successful or not. The loader validates data in the cells against QED and it will return an error message if inaccurate data is submitted, like in this case. We can use the find error button to find next error in the file. The cell is highlighted in red and placing the cursor in the cell will display reason for error. We must correct the error before submitting data again. Let's try to find next error and fix it. Let's, let's see if there's other errors. There's no more errors. Let's try to upload again. This time the upload is successful and the shipper number generated is downloaded. We can review the shipper by using the shipper button. We can review the debit sales order created by using the debit SO button. We can review the credit invoice generated, just click the credit invoice button. The user will have to print and post the pending credit invoice. We can review the item inventory by selecting an item and then clicking the inventory button. Let's take a look at how the scraps are processed. We need to enter the customer to process the credits for and the site or ship from and optionally a day range for the shipments. Then click the download button. The data is downloaded and we can see the details for the customer consigned items shipped in the selected date range. The scrap is processed by default using the Conclean location 
which can be changed if needed, as well as the debit account 8125, which can also be changed if needed. In order to process the scraps, we just have to enter the quantity to scrap and press the upload button, and the information will be sent to QED. A pop-up screen is displayed showing the status of the upload and it will indicate if upload is successful or not. Similarly to the credit tabs, the loader validates data in the cells against QED and it will return an error message if inaccurate data is submitted and we can use the find error button to find the next error in the file. This time the upload is successful and the shipper number generated is downloaded. We can review the shipper by using the shipper button. We can review the item inventory by selecting an item and clicking the inventory item button. In conclusion, this Excel loader tool allows you to process credit returns and scraps for consigned inventory and QED system quickly and effortlessly by selecting your required quantities to process from the downloaded list. It increases your productivity, eliminates errors and contributes to your bottom line. You can get additional information about this and other productivity tools by emailing us at contact at 32soft.com. Thank you.